Hey you folks, Quilly Dean here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play C5 Deity Twins Horse Lovers. Hello! <laughs> yeah, horse lovers without horses. <laughs> <laughs> With marbles here. And it's true, we have no horses. They're all a little too far south. Mm, at least you have some somewhat close to your capital. I have like none. Yeah, and the thing is, I don't really need horses until it's time to build my un mm -hmm. unit. You want horses right from the start because you get yeah, like a yeah. massive production boost from them. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so we kind of got screwed, although at least you have three sources of salt. I mean, we can't complain mm. about that. This is true. <laughs> and and there's one more that I can settle to the north. Uh, oh, yeah, over there. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yep. And yeah, there is some horses you could steal from Bucharest, but you yeah, would have well, to actually I'm, I'm steal about, it. I'm about to get two horses with my newest city, so that's not totally terrible. Oh, down there. Yeah. More salt, more horses. That's actually going to be a great yep. city. Pretty good city, yeah. And you do have access all the way to the North Sea, mm -hmm. or, or whatever that body of water is called. Yeah, I do. So it's not too bad. No, you're okay. And I'll probably get some horses when I settle my third city, I suspect. Mm -hmm. Now, the downside is St. Petersburg might get a little bit of border pressure with Austria very soon here. Um, oh, actually, St. Petersburg has got horses. I hadn't realized. Yeah, and, mm, and Austria will probably desire your land. And that, that's what I was going to say. We're going to get some border pressure mm -hmm. here, which does suck. Yeah. Maybe it would have gone better if someone hadn't just gone in there with a battering ram and upset them in the first place. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> Ooh, speaking of border pressure, look at Kn mm. Klagenfort. Uh, yep. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad I settled that city then. No kidding. Because they totally would have settled this. I bet you actually would have gone further north and grabbed that exactly where you are. Yeah, probably. I'm sure they would. So you are probably just on Fortify and Del Healed. I would really like to get that worker, which I think I can swing. Finish the library. And then I'll have to decide if I'm going to build another composite. Actually, it's probably going to be time for another worker. You know, yeah. our first war should probably be with Austria now because oh yeah, we, we kind of want to connect our <clears throat> territory. And this city is sort of in the way. <laughs> yeah, I think... Um, well, it would be interesting to decide if we burn down Klagenfort or not. I keep mm -hmm. wanting to say something completely different here, like Kaflugan. <laughs> um, I don't know if we're going to want to burn down Kaflugan, because it does actually yeah. have the salt, which isn't bad. And there's some overlap, but not that much. I think we yeah, keep Linz. Mm, the city location is decent. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I mostly have to guard St. Petersburg over here. Do do do. Although Austria is currently the literacy leader. Oh. I don't like that too much. Attacking the tech leader early on is probably not a great idea. Yeah, and we know early wars are risky. And we actually have a lot of room to expand. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. Oh, she, yeah, we do. If she wants to declare war on us and we'll just kill a bunch of units defensively, that's not so bad. Although, your location is fine. St. Petersburg I'd be a little uh, scared of. Yeah. It's a bit vulnerable. Yeah, I'm mostly fine. And I have some mountains to protect me from the south. All right, I need... Oh, so not enough gold kicking around here. Do I have an extra fur? No. need to make some money so I can buy that silk from her. Oops, I actually should have moved this guy, I think. So, do we want to go for a philosophy already? Um, we can. I, I'm not going to be building the National College quite. Mm -hmm. I think I'll build the third city first. So I don't need to rush for it, but I don't know if there's anything else we need to rush for anyway. So mm, I guess not. We yeah. could go for the sailing first to get additional trade route, but I didn't even build my first caravan yet. Yeah, I think philosophy into sailing will be okay. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'll probably want to start a third city, though. Oh, I have Barbarian Horsemen right on my border. Excellent. Although this one's not going to leave the encampment, so that's good. Oh, you can get another worker. Yeah. Always nice. Pew pew. Unless it belongs to a city-state. Oh, Vilnius. Yeah, that's tempting. Uh, is that a mercantile city-state? I can't, I can't see because i got a pop-up. I don't know. Can you uh, mouse over? I can tell you. 
Yep, that's a mercantile city-state, and no one is allied with it. Okay, this is the one I'm actually already friends with, I think, so... Mm -hmm. I, I would can... probably consider returning it. Yeah, I can get a full alliance. The happiness is good. Yeah, I'm going to do it. There we go. Full ally. 102, nice. so it's going to last for a while. 12 happiness right now. I mean, that's not going to last, but it's something. Yeah, not bad. Mm. I'm at 2, but that's mostly because my salt got pillaged. Uh, maybe I should have prioritized getting that fur hooked up so I could sell it. Because I'm really worried about losing the silk, but I, I need another 20 gold. Which silk? Uh, the silk between St. Petersburg and Linz. I don't suppose you have uh, actually 13 gold you can lend me? St. Petersburg and... Oh yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, I can. Because then I can buy it. Th uh, sorry, yeah. No, I'm wrong. I need, 90, I need 95, so it's going to be 18 gold. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Boom. She hasn't even complained about the fact that I bought a tile a couple of turns ago mm -hmm. either, so... That is really good. All right. Much more secure now. You rest. You... Probably come home. Defend my base from barbarians. Actually, maybe I'll go and stand over here. Oh! Barbarian horseman. Right. I knew that thing was around. Crap. I don't even know where I wanted to settle my fair cities. <laughs> There aren't any amazing locations nearby. And that one horse to the west is a little bit too far away and too close to Denmark. A little bit risky settling all the way there. Mm -hmm. um, that's good. She tempted to just hammer up faster. No, that's fine. Uh, I guess I don't maybe need the crepus quite as quick anymore. Because I was thinking about some quick border growth. Mm -hmm. Actually, walls first in St. Petersburg sound oh, yeah. really good right For now. sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. mm -hmm. <laughs> if any of our cities gets attacked, it's going to be St. Petersburg for yeah. sure. So many barbarians, though. I know. I keep getting barbarians almost constantly. Well, at least I have some units to defend myself this time. Yeah, my capital's being pillaged like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got Barbarian Horsemen now. But I think I can kill it. Yep. Yeah, it'll die next turn, which is good. That's just gonna hand axe me, but attacking it's not a winning move either. I might just go to cities, National College, because I don't see any great locations that I would want to settle ASAP. Yeah, I think I have to build my third city. Mm. I might actually go to cities, National College. Mm, that's fine. Did you finish this camp? Yes. The best third city that I can settle, that I actually see, is the salt to the north of my of my capital. But it's not even that great. There's like one fish, a few tiles with decent food, and really that's about it. Mm -hmm. Or two fish, I suppose. And it's kind of close to my capital. There will be a lot of overlap. And I doubt anyone is going to settle that, so I don't have to rush. There's no way anyone is going to settle there. No, that's true. It's nicely blocked in. Well, if I get the spot sort of south-southwest of Moscow, uh, mm -hmm. I think it'll... Well, no, they'll still sneak through and try to get that mountain spot, which will suck. I could rush up through the mountain and grab my own salt up there. But, yeah, I don't know. What I don't like about this spot that I'm looking at, it doesn't actually have a luxury source. Yeah. This is a bit of a strange map in general. <laughs> a lot of deer, not that many luxuries. Yeah. Not a lot of horses. And a lot of barbarians. So many. It's because there's so much space and we couldn't mm. add the extra AI. I, I want to know how far east this map goes because I'm a little bit worried Rome will have a crap ton of space to expand. Yeah, I'm going east right now to 
poke around there. Mm -hmm. And even with random personalities, Brom is so dangerous mm -hmm. because of their unique ability. Mostly the part where they build discounted buildings. Yeah, anything they've got in their capital, they get a what is it, yeah. like twenty percent discount? Something crazy. Mm, so for the AI, it does basically everything. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know about building Rome a caravan is, right now. I think it's going to be. Yeah. I think it just get eaten. And from my experience, Rome is easily one of the most snowbally AIs. Oh, definitely. So because not, not only they spam a lot of cities, these cities are almost always way better than average. Because they have more buildings. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I don't want to go too far. Well, St. Petersburg doesn't have a worker yet, so it's not the end of the world. Um, let's go see what's in the middle here after all. Oh, I think... I don't know if we'd met the Maya yet. I don't remember. One, two, three, four. Uh, oh, that was the last Civ. Uh -huh. And they are the, the oh, yeah, leader. it was. Mm -hmm. I wonder where they are. Oh, right there. Mm -hmm. To the east of you. Well, maybe they'll keep Rome busy. I don't know. Maybe. Or maybe they will get steamrolled by Rome. <laughs> I hope not. Mm. What do you think about this location to the west of Bucharest? Um... There's a lot of Tundra, but there are four sea resources. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually think it probably has some decent food potential. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially fish. Fish give you more food than pearls. Yeah, I, I would actually be tempted to settle that. Then you get that's the lighthouse there. Resources. I mean, it's yeah. going to be pop-capped in the long run. Oh, that's a swamp. Mm -hmm. Shoot. But I think it's going to be okay. I mean, just the three fish tiles alone are basically 15 food from three tiles. So that's really damn good. Mm-hmm. So if you don't want to settle that, I probably will. I'm yeah. just not sure on which side of the continent. Yeah, go ahead. I've got to take the territory in between my two cities mm -hmm. first. So we've got an Austrian swordsman kicking around. All right, I really got to get some workers down here. Plan is as soon as they repair the pillaged tiles in Moscow, they're going to go south. I need an extra unit to defend around here, too. So there's probably a barbarian encampment here since I think a horseman came. Oh, the battering ram upgrades directly to Trebuchet. I didn't even remember that part. Oh, that's interesting. I think I'm going to spam a few, then I can upgrade them to Trebuchets once mm -hmm. we get physics. Yeah, nice little timing attack. Mm hmm. Alright, you go there, and then you can come that way. I'll definitely maintain a bigger army than the last time. <laughs> and with a few battering rams, we could probably attack someone early on still. Well, it's gonna have to be Austria. Mm. Like, they're really the only yeah, viable yeah. target for anything. We could attack these weaker cities, not necessarily go for Vienna itself. Yeah. Klagenfort would be pretty easy to either take or raise. Probably take. That's gonna hurt. Alright, not so bad. The only thing I dislike about all this forest is that it makes exploring so much slower. It does. With non scouts. Did you lose your scout? Or did you. Uh, yeah, he got killed by a barbarian. Okay, yeah, I still have mine. I had to use him to clear out some camps with some backups, so I haven't done as much exploring, but at least he's mm -hmm. still living. And I got another barbarian horseman incoming. Yeah, I don't actually know where the barbarian camp is. I don't think he's from the one to the west. And I really hate Barbadian horsemen. Oh, <laughs> they are no. so annoying. 
Just ruin all your plans. <laughs> yeah. Go, go, worker. You can make it. Choose research. Okay. Um... Iron working so... without metal casting. Hmm. Civil service. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I like it. I don't think we're too far behind. Oh wow, Rome is the tech leader now. Oh, that's and so also bad. population leader, production leader. <laughs> and it has the biggest army. Oh god. Well I'm happy we're not direct neighbors. I think it might be Morocco that takes the brunt of it first. Well, could be the Mayas. See, I like the early workshops, but it does involve delaying universities. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a good point. I mean, if we did go to civil service first, then up to education. Depends on how important the production is versus the tech. I would probably play it safe here and go for education first. All right. Especially with Rome getting stronger. So civil service into education. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, and the thing is, we've got so much room. I don't think we're pressured to boost our production for yeah, army I think the same be okay. way as normally. And we'll get some little bit of extra production due to our civilizations. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a bonus from pastures, and you're getting bonus from iron. Right. I guess that's true. You get bonus from all pastures, not just horses. Mm -hmm. So it's actually okay. Yep. But that's right. St. Petersburg will be really nice once I get my worker over there. Mm -hmm. Just, oh, yeah. It's so slow because they're so far apart and it's all forest. Yeah. And I'm having to be careful about barbarians. You'll probably want to chop some of that forest eventually. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I'm still thinking right here is going to be nice. I'll get this deer, those horses, that. I mean, there'll be lots of food production. I guess I could go to the other side of the river, eventually get the stone, one more deer. Oh, oh yeah. I found the barbarian camp. And then I lose that. <laughs> it was just outside of my visual range. Oh, yeah? Next to Attila's court. This is sick. It was literally right next to Attila's court. Oh, right up north there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Hidden in plain sight. <laughs> Oh, I should actually build my barracks first if I'm going to be pumping out a couple of composites. Let's take the heal. Oh, we were about to kill this. Maybe I didn't need to take the heal. Hmm. Alright, Barbarian Camp, do not spawn anything. You filthy bastards, do not do it. <laughs> Yeah, spawn a pikeman that will kill a unit immediately. Yeah, there we go. Clear that. That's what happened to me in the previous one. Oh, that's right. Yeah, I, I lost uh, a composite bowman or archer right at the start when a pikeman spawned next to it. Yeah, you got seriously <laughs> blown by that. Yeah. It was just one unit, but the early units are so important. Mm hmm. All right, cleared the camp. I'll get my third city down soon. Worker finally arrived by St. Petersburg. We'll start working on that salt. Enemy spotted near Moscow. Oh, it's that hatchet guy again. Yeah, I'm actually going to wait with Third City until I finish National College. We are still so far away from most of the AIs. Mm -hmm. This is such a big map. Yeah, other than Austria, that's it. And it will be a slow map due to all this forest. That, that, what's the third tile being worked? This over here. We'll probably want to bribe some of these AIs to fight each other. Yeah, actually slowing down um, mm. the, uh, the Romans by having them go after Morocco might be really helpful. Yeah, and then get Spain to fight 
Denmark. You just tank it out, buddy. There's an archer coming to help you. Alright, that's the end of my golden age. It's brief. <laughs> early on, the turns are so fast. And your cities are so small that that early golden yeah. age doesn't really do much. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, it's the easiest time to get it. Yeah, that's true. I built the caravan, but I didn't even check my potential trade route. See I, I don't think we're going to declare war on Austria anytime soon, just yet. Because no. Austria is my only possible trading partner with yeah. caravans. And that's fine. So I'm hoping, now that I've got Novgorod in place, I'm hoping I can run some reliable mm -hmm. trade routes down to Morocco. Or, yeah, I could actually send them over to St. Petersburg, I just realized, and that would be pretty safe too. You know, we could do something slightly different with Austria. We could just stay friendly with Austria and use them for trade routes and attack one of the other AIs. That's true. Wow, she's got that, six cities that, That's what I sometimes do. I keep my closest neighbor basically as a trader out partner and stay friendly with that neighbor. Mm -hmm. Because one of the ways you can really screw yourself over is go to war with all the civilizations that are your potential trading partner. And be left with no options for trade routes. That's and true. And wreck your economy. Now, one of the issues is that Austria doesn't border anyone else. So it's going to be a little mm -hmm. harder to convince her to go to war with people. Yeah, that's true. But it might still be possible, and someone might forward settle her. Spain might come but, too close. Uh, I actually have the desire for friendly relations with our empire, with oh. Austria. Do you? Um, they covet land. Oh, okay. Interesting that they don't want mine, just yours. <laughs> Probably well, because you settled there. Yeah, but and they actually desire friendly relations with me. We actually touch. Mm -hmm. Right. That's true. And I own some of the territory that's within range of mm -hmm. both Linz and Klagenfurt. They are sending two trade routes to my cities. Wow. Yeah, we definitely don't want to go to war with Austria just yet. Wow. Austria is basically like 40% of my science right now because of the two trade routes they are sending to me. Jeez. And the one I'm sending to them. I'm getting 12 science from Austria right now out of 29. My god. Nice. <laughs> Actually, I'm getting even more. They are sending three trade routes to me, I think. No, two trade routes. But yeah, th that's one of the reasons why it's quite often a bad idea to go to war very early on Dete. Because if you stay friendly with your closest neighbor, he will often just send trade routes to you and mm -hmm. give you massive science boost. These early trade routes the AIs send to you are often worth five or even six science per caravan. Right now oh, it's I guess four, on deity, four, right, so. because the starting yeah, yeah. tech difference. Mm -hmm. And if you declare war on them, that possibility won't be there anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm getting trade routes from Morocco now that I've settled Novgorod. So that's helping things. And if I were you, I would probably consider settling some city to the east. Just to be a little bit closer to Pakal and Rome. Right. There's still a lack of unique resources. I could get some more furs. I mean, I'm mm -hmm. not going to settle a third city until I've got my national college up. There are some dice, but they are a little bit too far away. Yeah, I saw that over here. And some truffle. Like, there's a really mm -hmm. good spot right near where my scout is now. That's very Yeah, I think far. I was looking at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I was looking at that exact spot. You would probably have to settle two cities to grab that. Mm -hmm. And by then I'm wondering how much it'll be full. We'll see. First priority, yeah. National College, and then I'll consider mm -hmm. expanding some more. Oh, also, I think I'm going to found a religion soon. Oh, good. I only need five more turns to get to 300 faith. Wow. And two more religions are still available. Well, I like my Pantheon still, the food from camps. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's amazing. Are you anywhere close to starting a religion? No, I'm not. I only have 100 okay. faith. 
Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, you know, something I didn't consider. Playing with our kind of setup, mm -hmm. with a team, actually makes it a little bit easier to start a religion, because that's one less AI to oh. compete with for a religion. Mm, that's a good point. Although, in theory, we could compete with each other for a religion. Yeah, that's true, but one of us will we'll have a bigger one. chance to start a religion. Yeah. And my religion would still be useful for you, because mine gives faith from salt, iron, and something else. Oh, that's good. Well, I, def I have a salt and a couple irons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, composite bowman is done. Wonderful. Just hang out by my worker. I do need more workers, but I really want to get a couple of composites. I'm going to feel so yeah. much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need more workers too. I'm just finishing a caravan. But for now, I'll need to work on my national college. Yeah, I only just settled Novgorod recently. Mm -hmm. So it's going to take a while. And I think I'll have to pass on connecting my cities with a road. They are just so far apart. I would end up paying extra maintenance for that road. Oh yeah, I am working on connecting Moscow to Novgorod. Because they are reasonable distance. Mm -hmm. It will still take yeah. <laughs> some amount of time off of uh, transport, but yeah. I know exactly what you mean. So I suspect there's a barbarian encampment over here. Maybe not. Also, I think we should make a cut by now. Oh, yes, absolutely. It's a long one. Well, it'll be interesting to see where this goes. I'm, I'm nervous <laughs> about Austria, but if they can play ball at all, I think we're going to be in great shape. I'm mostly nervous about the size of this map. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. The AI is about the road so here. high. Yeah. So, right. thanks for watching, everyone. See you next time, folks. See you next time.